Hi. Thanks for joining me. You're joining me in this session for my take on lifting into a cap or striking. Well, first of all, I would just like to say that carp, in my mind, fall into two categories. Those with a soft mouth and those with a not so soft mouth. The former, certainly the grass carp, has a very soft mouth. Any hook hold is liable to pull during a battle or even at your feet at the end of a heart one tussle as you try to land it. Especially when it comes to fishing surface baits such as tiger bread, my chosen method these days. So, getting back to the question, to lift into a car or to strike. If you're fishing bottom baits, I guess the majority of the time you're fishing for common carp, mirror carp, ghost carp. Yes, grass carp are caught on the bottom, but I've never had one. So I'll save that for surface discussion. So back to bottom fishing. When you're bottom fishing, on the lake bed for carp, you're invariably using a setup where your rods are in rod rests or maybe on a rod pod with bite alarms and you set this whole setup up so that the carp picks up the bait registers a bite on the bite alarm and you lift into the fish. There's probably no need to strike most of the time because the majority that I've come across certainly the majority of carp anglers are using a bolt rig or semi bolt rig so the lead, not being free on the line, does the hooking. Once you've got the carp hooked, there's no need to, to do any further striking. And in fact, picking a rod up out of a rod rest or off a rod pod and striking can actually loosen the hook hold or pull it completely out of the carp's mouth. So if you're fishing on rod pods for bait runners, bite alarms, I would suggest you just lift into the fish when it takes it's already hooked. Now, moving on to my favourite method of fishing for carp, surface fishing. Surface fishing is invariably quite a slack line. There may be bows in the line, 
through surface drift or wind or even tow all affects the line straightness between rod tip and hook. We need to straighten that out at some point during the battle. You may think when a carp takes off the surface and your rod tip moves then it's a straight line from the rod tip to the fish well that's not always the case I've seen many times a bore in the line still transmit a gentle take and when the carp pulls that bow will just transmit the forces and it takes a lot more force to straighten out that line so we sometimes have to give that straightening out process a little helping hand and that's where striking comes into it how hard do we strike just hard enough to set the hook Getting back to the fact that I mentioned grass carp have soft mouths. If we don't set the hook at the initial take with a tug or a strike, if we don't set the hook, you may well lose the fish during the fight. I've lost them at my feet and when a fish comes off at your feet and stays in the swim for minutes after it's a good in experience believe me and you, you don't want to be repeating that to see you, your treasured grass carp just out of arm's reach still in your swim but not attached to your line it takes some getting over <clears throat> if you've seen any of my other videos where I show my rods set up you see that I have the rod tips high I have a, an attachment to the side of my chair and the rods are resting against that attachment and the butt tip is touching the ground behind me so the rod is diagonally upwards with the tip in the sky when a grass carp or any carp for, it, uh, for that matter takes the bait on a f surface bait the rod tips will initially nod then the bait runner no matter how lightly it's set is the second thing to go off give line which is only there to give you time to put your cup of tea down focus on what you're doing pick your rod and reel up turn the handle and take the bail arm across and the bait runner off all of this takes time bear in mind at any point you may have a personal best carp at the end of your line. So please ensure that you do everything you can to land it. And if you think it's a grass carp and you, you've seen them in the area before casting towards them, if you think it's a grass carp, 
lift the rod, do the necessary with the bait runner, lever and the bait alarm and then give it a little strike, not an end of the pier, 10 pound cod type of strike, but a strike enough to set the hook and only then can you put pressure on the carp as you battle it and eventually land it. So that's my take on lifting into a fish or striking. I hope you've got something out of it. Join me again soon. Thanks for watching.